excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case, you believe. Up. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Looks phenomenal tonight. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hooker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Got the single collar tie. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful body kick. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely, of kicks. Kick, 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 <laughs> kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position. Got another beautiful takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know he's got a lot. Look at him push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Oh, he's got a choke. Look at him push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay
Stay sharp. Don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Good punch. Oh, nice. Nice right hand. Hooker's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice right hand. Single collar tie now. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Hooker. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Just misses with the right. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. So the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. Out of range with that one. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hooker gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 20 seconds to go round two. And there comes the separation now. Joy gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated, he's so able to fight with both fighting stances. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, big punch lands. Three minutes to go in round three. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with a left hook there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he heard a bell, the jab. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Punch over the top. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice punch by Hooker. Just misses there with the left. Oh, tags him with the overhand. Look at the turnover in that kick. Ten seconds. Real quick leg kick. And that'll do it. Fifteen minutes in the books. Next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That was a nice strike. And they separate. Look at the force oh. behind that leg kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's... Oh! Get right here. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hooker. Big kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. Saw oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that right there.
right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...